addresses the problem of substandard housing. The ombudsman doesn't spend 30 minutes on the phone with somebody telling them how they can uh, get their deposit back. This is, uh, uh, this is not, there are other cities that have uh, entire rental advocate departments that do rent control and, and set rents and, um, and, and get involved with the actual business transaction between the landlord and the tenant. This is one thing. It's to take complaints and see them through and get them done immediately. It's also to provide a lifeline to people who are living in substandard housing. The, the, the ombudsman is not there to give legal advice. Uh, just think of the amount of sheer time that the, this person would have to spend on the phone uh, going back and forth trying to mediate legal matters with tenants. We're about getting mold, getting cockroaches, getting uh, uh, exposed wiring, getting plumbing leaks fixed and addressed as soon as possible so people don't have to live like that. Okay. Okay, because it, this, this person does not function to provide legal advice. And, and I think that's, that's very fair for the, the, the person on the other end of the phone, to, or the, the ombudsman, to say we, we can't give legal advice because we can't. That's not what this person's function is. I mean, that so then basically if the landlord doesn't go through with any of the fixes, These guys come in and hammer them. The Asset comes in. There are, there are state laws that protect people from retaliation. And so we, we're already uh, opposed retaliation, and if it happens, we're going to go after them. Does this replace the plan that City Hall is imploding with mandatory closed door inspections? I don't know. This is what Steve and I are bringing forward today. I've heard rumblings that there may be uh, something else coming forward to, to, to augment what we're doing or to supplant what we're doing. Uh, that's, that's questions for, for other people at City Hall. I don't know. Let me, let me go this, is, this is our plan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what we're here to talk about today. So, David, I think it appears to me that City Hall's plan is to talk ad nauseum about mandatory inspections, percentages, um, um, a registry, what they're doing elsewhere, what Nan McKay, an outside party, would do. Uh, we're, we're tired of that. We've, we've done that. We're at the one-year mark here at Somerset, and we're ready to tackle problems. Tackling problems takes a solution like asset of dedicated resources. It very well could be that in a rush, the mayor may bring something that she would like to connect uh, to, this, to this issue. She's going to have to bring it, or another council member have to be, bring it. We're not dealing with registry or mandatory door-to-door. -door. As you said, door-to-door -door inspections are not included in this. This is targeting the bad apples. It's keeping the pressure on the bad apples.